Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this lesson, we will talk about adding, subtracting, and multiplying decimals. If you're ready, let's go. Mathematical operations on decimal numbers, addition and subtraction. Let's start the lesson with an example. Suppose we have a painting that we want to frame and install on the wall. The length of the panel is 63 hundredths of the length of the wall. And the border of the frame is one tenth of the length of the wall. How much of the wall's length will be covered with panel and frame? How much of the wall's length will be left? As you can see, the question consists of two parts. First, we want to calculate the total length of the frame and the panel. Pay attention that the frame will be placed on both sides of the length of the board. It means that we have to add it twice to the length of the board. Since the corresponding digits are calculated together, I use the place value table which helps to understand better. You can see that 0 0.63 has two digits, tenths and hundredths and 0 0.1 has a tenths digit. And we can put 0 on its hundredths place. Then the sum will be 0 0.83. That means the painting and frame takes 0 0.83 of the wall. Now, we want to know after installing the painting, how much of the wall's length will be free. We know that the board and its frame are 0 0.83 of the wall length. That means our measurement unit is the wall's length, which we consider as 1. Now we subtract 0 0.83 from 1. Like the first part, we write the numbers in the place value table. Since 1 is a whole number, we put 0 instead of its decimal digits to subtract 0 0.83 from it. We do the subtraction like the integer numbers subtraction, and we put the decimal point in its corresponding place. The result is 0 0.17. Let's look at another example. We want to mix 1.65 liters of syrup with 7.8 liters of water. How much syrup will we have? We add the numbers in the same way. 5 plus 0 is 5, and as you can see, 6 plus 8 is 14. 4 is written in the tenths place, and 1 is added to the ones digit, and the answer is 9.45. Well, Let's go to see the multiplication of decimal numbers. Suppose we have a rectangular table, one side of which is 0 0.8 meters and the other side is 0 0.6 meters. What is the area of this table? As you know, the area of this rectangle is length times width. Imagine the sheet below, which is a square of 1 meter by 1 meter. The area of the table will be equal to the brown part of this sheet which is 48 over 100. Also, if we write 0 0.8 and 0 0.6 as fractions, according to the rule of multiplying fractions, the numerators are multiplied together and the denominators are multiplied together. And again, we come to the same answer, 48 over 100. And here, I want to tell you the general rule in multiplying decimal numbers. We multiply decimal numbers like whole numbers, that is, without considering the decimal point. Then, at the end, the number of digits will be equal to the sum of number of digits of digits of the multiplication factors. For example, in 0 0.8 times 0 0.6, 6 times 8 is 48. And since 6 and 8 each have one decimal digit, which add up to a total of two decimal digits, the answer will be 0 0.48. Well, are you ready to answer the question of the day? Well, if you are, give me a like. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh well, tell me, what is the answer to 0 0.25 times 0 0.4? Thanks for watching and see you next time.